welcome back if you're new here my name is Emily and today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be doing a full-on unboxing video so I'm really excited to do that because I have quite a few packages over here that I have been collecting for the past couple of weeks so yeah I've been waiting to open these up to share with you guys and also don't forget to stick around to the end of the video so I can share with you guys some tips from my own personal experience on how brands started sending me free stuff, adding me to their PR list, and how you guys can get started as well. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that all of my content revolves around home, plants, and lifestyle. So I have a bunch of different types of packages here. I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy. I personally love unboxing videos, so I hope that you guys enjoy this too. Also, a quick disclaimer, none of these brands are paying me to do an unboxing. They simply gifted it to me because they reached out or because I've worked with them in the past and I'm already on their PR list, so they occasionally send over some freebies every now and then. But I'm gonna get started with this first package by a brand called Perky Plant. And they reached out to me because they had seen the other content I've done for other plant-related brands. So let's see what they sent us. Oh, cute nice okay awesome this is really cool perky plants sent over some plant food and I love the packaging so they sent over some cute little stickers but here's the plant food that they sent and look at how cute they are because they're like little seasoning jars so we have this first one meant for house plants so it's just plant food that you add when you water all of them have like different instructions. Here's that. And then we have one for all purpose. And lastly, we have one for succulents. These are so cute. Nice. So you just sprinkle on to your plant's soil before watering and let them work their magic. I'm really excited to try these. I love their packaging. All right, next one. I think I'm gonna go with this because I, I can't remember who this is from. I really can't remember. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Home decor. All right, so this package is by the brand Gitana. Yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. This is so nice. This is so nice of them. Really pretty cutting board. And then we have the larger version. So the reason why I really wanted this set is because they look so good together, paired like this, and then against your kitchen counter. So I already know where I'm gonna put mine. I already know, it's gonna look so good. This last piece is so pretty. So this is the second piece they sent over. You just connect it like this. So cute. Okay, next package is gonna be by Osea Malibu. I love Osea Malibu, I've worked with them before and they decided to just surprise me with some more stuff. We have quite a bit in here. All right, first thing that I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to try this for the longest. Also, I love their packaging, by the way. Okay, so this is their Salt of the Sea body scrub. Next up, they sent me my favorite, and I'm so excited because I'm almost out of it. It is my body oil, so really excited for that one. Next up, they sent over the Ocean Cleanser. I love this one. This is one that I've already been using. Super cute packaging. Next, they sent over some more of their Atmosphere Protection Cream. Love this one as well. And lastly, they sent over their Hyaluronic C Serum. Ooh, I've never tried this one. Okay, really excited to try this one out. Thank you, Sia Malibu. All right, next up, we are opening up a package by Grove. They just surprised me. I do not know what's in here. Okay, this is so cute. Look at these reusable sandwich bags. Oh, sweet. They sent over reusable cleaning bottles. So nice, I love it. And lastly, oh my gosh, they are the best. Gosh, I love these little caddies. I need to give one to my mom because she's going to love these. They just say Grove on them and they put some goodies inside. Sponges, some more microfiber cleaning cloths, and then of course, some glass cleaner and multi-purpose cleaner for those glass bottles. All right, last but not least, we have two packages from Our Place. I love Our Place. Their pots 
and just kitchen stuff in general. They have other stuff other than kitchen stuff too, but their aesthetic and branding is just on point. I feel so grateful to be sent things from all these brands and our place is just one of those brands that I always thought about working with when I started out as a content creator. So I'm super, super thankful and let's go ahead and open this up because I'm really excited. I already know what's gonna be in here and you can see the person right now. Let's open it. So Our Place has sent me something like one other time a couple months back. So the fact that they reached out to send out some more stuff to me, that means they like my content and they just want to keep me on their PR list and send me stuff, so I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. All right, let's open it up. I am so excited to flip this over. You guys, I'm gonna cry. This is so beautiful. Our Place came out with a new product and it's their perfect pot. So this is it right here. You guys, you guys, please look at how gorgeous this pot is. This one is in the color Spice, by the way, because they have a bunch of different colors. So I have one last package from them. So let me open that up. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Okay. <laughs> so they sent over one of their always pans and the color you guys are going to freak. You guys are going to freak out right now. Look at this. It's, it's sage green. You guys, this color is everything. So this is the always pan. There's some cardboard down there, but it comes with the steam rack and everything. Just goes like that. So really cute. Love it. All right, you guys, so that's it for the unboxing. And before I move on to sharing some tips, if you are interested in starting to work with some of your favorite brands or have brands send you free stuff, I wanna say thank you to the brands that sent me all of these items today. I don't even know if they watch my videos, probably not, who knows? But I just wanna say thank you to them and thank you to you guys for supporting me. I still think it's the coolest thing ever that I get to work with some really great brands and be offered the opportunity to be gifted products and yeah, it's just surreal. I'm still a pretty small influencer, so the fact that I've been given the free stuff I have been given is so amazing and I obviously wanna share some tips with you guys if you are growing your audience and are interested in getting some free stuff. So let's move on to those tips. All right, you guys, so you hung out to the end of the video, so clearly you want to hear my tips. Again, these are just from my own experience and everybody's a little bit different, but this is just the way that getting free products ended up happening for me. And again, this is all just from my own experience. Everybody's experience is going to be a little bit different. It also depends on the size of your audience, of course, that probably plays the biggest role in getting free stuff. The higher the followers, the higher the chance that a brand is gonna find you and wanna send you stuff, the higher the chance of you asking will lead to a yes response. So as of right now, I am at 39K followers on Instagram, so close to 40. I really wanna get there. If you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me. Anyways, next we have TikTok. On TikTok, I have a, just a little bit above 17K followers, so still really trying to grow that. Third, we have YouTube, which I have 8.5 subscribers. So still working on YouTube. It's been a little bit of a longer process, but obviously all platforms are important. And I did start my Instagram far before I started my TikTok or YouTube. So quickly from all of these, which one did I find my growth be quicker? That would have to be TikTok. People have said it, people are gonna keep saying it. It's the app to be on. It's the place where you can get the most discovery. And there are obviously so many stories of people getting to the top because of TikTok and being reached out and discovered just through TikTok itself. For me, it's a little bit of a different story. Most of the time, they're reaching out to me because they've seen me on Instagram and they wanna send me stuff. Sometimes brands will ask for content in exchange of a free product. Sometimes they are nice enough to just give you free product and expect nothing of it. For me, if a brand wants to send me something for free and it's actually something that I'm interested in, not just to receive free product or anything, and of course I want to make sure that it fits in within my content if I do decide to post a story or something, 
then it's not going to be something completely random that does not fit my category. So usually I'm not the one to reach out to a brand and ask for product. I have done it, I want to say one time. I want to say one time, I can't remember. There is one time that I remember asking and it was because I was working on a specific like project for the holidays and I wanted to use that specific brand for that content. So I told them straight off the bat that I love their brand, that I am working on some fun content and I would love to style some of their stuff. And that's how I got the okay. And I even asked a second time and they said yes. So my tip would be instead of just reaching out to a brand and simply asking them for a free product and remember to not just say, hey, I want some free product or whatever we all have manners here and we know how to write a polite email you're writing to a brand that you potentially want to keep working with and hopefully later actually get money for working with these brands because because a lot of these brands because a lot of brands aren't expecting to also pay you if they're sending you free stuff and it of course depends on the brand and everything so pretty much if you are ready to write this email or message on Instagram I would stay away from simply asking without anything in return you want to make sure that they know you're willing to post on your social media because they need they're gonna need some something in return if they had never noticed you in the first place pretty much and so what I did with that last brand was basically give them the concept of what I wanted to create in terms of content over on my Instagram and they loved the idea and that is why I got the yes on that gifting opportunity so I definitely recommend having an actual game plan and sharing that with the brand so that they know you are actually going to be posting some quality stuff for them all right next tip when you're being offered stuff I guess I'm honestly just thinking off the top of my head right now. Oh yeah, and quick reminder, like I said, some brands won't expect to pay you and it honestly just depends on how you feel about the brand if you want to end up asking for money. So for example, I'm reached out to probably every single day, I get emails to be sent free stuff. Do I always go through with them? No, absolutely not. Sometimes I'm offered things that have absolutely nothing to do with my type of content, so that's a straight up no. Second, if it's a brand that I think, okay, I'm willing to try this out and share on my page like they're asking if they pay me. You kind of just have to think about it with the brands. For example, I've been reached out to by brands that straight up have said, oh, we want to send you this in exchange of a post, like three Instagram story slides, um, a TikTok, like a real, no joke, sometimes brands have asked for multiple things just for exchange of free product. And Personally, I like to ask if they have a budget for this certain campaign and I give them my rates. So yeah, if they're gonna reach out to you with a list of things that they expect from you, then give them your list of rates because that sounds like they are expecting some quality content from you, which costs money, clearly. And then you have some other brands that simply want you to try out their stuff. They don't expect anything in return and that's always really sweet of them. I always like to share, at least in stories or something, especially because I appreciate a brand that noticed me, likes my content, and wants to send me a free gift. That, to me, is amazing. And what is the cost of just simply taking a picture for my Instagram story. They appreciate it, I appreciate it, and then if I actually like their product and I keep sharing, they're going to want to keep working with me, keep sending me stuff, or potentially work on a paid post with them or something. So always keep that in mind. Okay, next, what else, what else? Oh yeah, small brands, small brands. As somebody who has a small brand themselves, I love it when small brands reach out for example, I've had brands ask me to do a number of things and I give them my rates and then they explain to me how they're a small brand and um, the most that they can do is simply gift the product. Then I'm like, oh, then I totally understand. But I, of course, want to meet them like halfway. So I tell them, I love your style, the focus of your brand. I will go ahead and post. I always post on my stories anyway. And I explain to them how there's more opportunity when working with me because I understand how it is being a small brand. And if I genuinely love the product, then of course I'm going to share it. So don't forget about your small shops. Those are the type of people that I love to support as well because they're hustling and these gifts are no joke. So I 
always, always, if somebody reaches out as a small shop and wants to give me something, I need to share it on Instagram. All right, so if you are still a small influencer and you're growing, maybe you're not at 10K yet, but I personally didn't feel comfortable with asking for product or anything like that until I reached above 10K. And then after a while when I was over 10k I started getting the occasional gifting opportunities which is great but the main difference of course is that follower count I focused on really nailing down the look on my page what I want people to get out of it and just focus a lot on growing my followers because again that's gonna be a bigger chance of brands wanting to notice you so make sure that you are working hard on that content posting some quality stuff and most importantly when you're posting that quality stuff don't forget to tag brands. I am constantly tagging brands whenever I post my pictures. You'll see that I'm posting where all of my items in my home are from. So that way those brands can receive the notifications that I have tagged them and have the opportunity of them noticing me. And I don't let it stop at the Instagram post. If you're posting on your story, tag them on there as well, of course. But whenever I post a picture of my living room, I'm constantly being asked where I get my rug. And I always tag Ruggable because that is the brand of my rug. What do I get in response? Ruggable notices my comment on there as well. They always like it. I've worked with Ruggable plenty of times already, but that's just another way of getting their attention. That little nudge in case they didn't see that you tagged them on the picture or something, they'll see that you tagged them on the comment. So that's another way. Just make sure you're always tagging them and also check if they have a certain hashtag on their bio because usually they'll be looking through all those hashtags to look at customer pictures and a lot of times they want to repost that over on their stories or even on their main page and tag you. So definitely do that because I've gotten good luck with brands noticing me simply because I tag them in every single picture when their product is in the frame. So definitely, definitely recommend that is one of the top tips that I have to give you for sure. I'm trying to think of some more tips, but honestly, it's pretty straightforward. You just, you want to think about the type of influencer that you want to be. Do you want to be the one that just gets all this free stuff, are not really sticking to like their brand aesthetic or brand personality, or do you want to be the one that focuses on their stuff is saying yes to these brands that they genuinely love or they genuinely want to work with because your followers will really notice the difference if you're simply just posting free things like random things that you're being given or you're organically sharing these new products that you received and that you're loving or that you appreciate receiving. And of course, always disclose when something is gifted. That way your followers understand that you have that transparency with them and you're not trying to sell them on anything. You're just letting them know like, hey, I was gifted this, so I am willingly posting because I actually loved this gift or something, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much all the tips that I have. It's pretty straightforward. You just really have to get their attention by tagging them whenever you're posting them, creating some great content that will really make them notice you, or simply reaching out to them and showing your value for their brand. So thank you guys for sticking to the end of this video. I hope these tips were a little bit helpful and that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did. And if you haven't followed me over on Instagram or TikTok, then don't forget to follow me over there because I post all different types of content there. And lastly, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. So thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.